द नेक्स्ट चैप्टर दैट वी डील विद इन फिजिक्स इज कानेडिक थ्योरी ऑफ गैसेज एंड गैस लॉस दिस इज अ प्रेटी सिंपल चैप्टर यू जस्ट नीड टू रिमेंबर द सर्टन बेसिक्स यू रिमेंबर ऑल दी एजम्शन ऑफ कानेडिक थ्योरी ऑफ गैसेज अ सिंपल फॉर्मुला पी वी जी गोड एन आर टी एंड यू कैन सॉल्व ऑलमोस्ट ऑल द क्वेश्चन यूजिंग दिस फॉर्मुला सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन एरिया ऑफ क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ दी ट्यूब इज गिवन टू बी वन सेंटीमीटर स्क्वेयर द लेंथ ऑफ द टू ट्यूब इज गिवन एंड इनिशियली द ट्यूब वॉज एम टी एंड द प्रेशर इन साइड प्रेशर ऑफ द गैस इन साइड द ट्यूब वॉज एटी सेंटीमीटर्स ऑफ मर्क्यूरी नो वट हैपन इज दट सम मर्क्यूरी इज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड फ्रॉम हियर एंड इट राइजेस टू अट ऑफ टेन सेंटीमीटर्स इन द स्मॉलर ट्यूब वट वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट इज द हाइट टू विच दिस मर्क्यूरी राइजेज इन द लॉन्गर ट्यूब सो फॉर सॉल्विंग दिस क्वेश्चन लेट इज फर्स्ट एनालाइज वन थिंग दट वॉट हैपन्स टू द गैस इन द स्मॉलर ट्यूब लेट इज राइट पी वी इज गुड एन आर टी द टेम्परेचर ऑफ द गैस इज फिक्स फॉर द स्मॉलर ट्यूब द नंबर ऑफ मोल्स इज ऑल्सो फिक्स which was fixed initially whatever moles were there also exist now now when the uh, mercury is inserted what happens is that the gas already in the smaller tube gets compressed in this region so what we can write for this gas is equal to p1 v1 is equal to p2 v2 this is also known as boyle's law we need not remember all these laws uh, separately you may remember you just remember the names as to this is called this but everything in everything can be solved by using PV is equal to NRT, so we apply P1 V1 is equal to P2 V2 for the volume of gas which was in this tube initially. While applying this, we get the initial pressure was 80 centimeters of mercury. A pressure of 80 centimeters of mercury means that it is the equal to the pressure of a column of mercury of height 80 centimeters. So, so this can always be written as density of the mercury into the g into 80. So this is the meaning of the uh, pressure of 80 cm of mercury but we do not need this now we let it be in the terms of cm cube uh, cm of mercury this into l1 the area of cross section is a l1 was the initial length into l1 that was equal to 50 is equal to the final pressure let that be p1 let the pressure here be p2 is equal to p1 into the length is 10 so the therefore the remaining length is 40 cm 40 into a on solving this we get p1 is equal to 100 cm of mercury now by applying the similar equation on the second part we get 80 into 80 was the initial pressure p1 into v1 v1 was equal to a into l2 l2 was equal to 100 this is equal to p2 into a into we need to find out this length l that is the height to which this has risen therefore we can write the second part as 100 minus l a gets cancelled therefore we get 80 into 100 becomes equal to p2 into 100 minus l this is another equation that we get now we have three variables p1 p2 and l so we need another equation to solve this question the third equation will come from the fact that we know that in a liquid pressure is always same at a at the same level at the same horizontal level so let us check this level so pressure over here should be equal to the pressure of uh, pressure over here because this is a singly connected liquid we already know that in a singly connected liquid the pressure is same at the same level therefore we can write the another equation that is p1 is equal to p2 plus rho mercury into g into this height that is equal to l minus 10 this is nothing else but the height of mercury l minus 10 this is the pressure due to a height of mercury mercury column equal to l minus 10 therefore we can write this as p1 we already know as 100 cm of mercury therefore p2 is equal to 100 minus l minus 10 cm of mercury because this pressure is l minus 10 cm of mercury therefore p2 is equal to 100 minus l minus 10 cm of mercury so this is one equation we get in p2 and l this is another equation that we get in p2 and l so we get two equations and two variables so on solving this we get p2 is equal to 110 minus l on putting this value over here we get 80 into 100 is equal to 110 minus l into 100 minus l so we get a quadratic equation in l which on solving gives us the value l is equal to 
centimeters. So a final answer for the length to which the mercury column has risen in the second tube comes out to be 15.5 centimeters. So the only thing you needed to keep in mind is in this question is that you always remember the formula PV is equal to NRT and whatever whatever be the variables given according to that you decide what is constant. Over here in this question we decided that since the temperature was constant and the number of moles in this uh, column of gas remain constant therefore we applied PV is equal to constant and we got P1 V1 is equal to P2 V2 therefore in other different questions you can get different relations and accordingly you can solve the question. So final answer for this question was 15.5 centimeters.